The second part of this question asks, how far from the bottom of the shaft was the box when it fell from the elevator? In other words, it's asking, here it's when it, this is where it fell at this point. Let's use a different color. Okay. At this point, it started falling. It first went up because it still had a little bit of upwards momentum and then it started falling down. Now, at that point, from this point until it reached the ground, what is this height? Well, it's simply the displacement. The displacement that the box has from where it started to fall, even though it was going up still a bit, until it reached the ground. So what do we know? What information do we have for this whole path? Because we simply want the displacement for that whole path. Well, we're looking for displacement. We have initial velocity. Okay. Important now that future velocity does not um, apply because we need the future velocity here at the end. We're considering the whole route now. So we have initial velocity, constant acceleration, and then we also have delta t. That's how long they said it took to reach the bottom. Read the original question. It says it strikes the bottom after 1.3 seconds. So we need a formula with delta x, initial velocity, acceleration, and delta t. And that would be this formula. Wrong question. That would be... So let's write down our formula. Delta x is equal to initial velocity times time plus a half acceleration times delta t squared. Um, the displacement is what we want to calculate. Initial velocity is given as 2 meters per second, but it was upward, so it's negative 2 meters per second. Time it took was 1,3 seconds plus a half. Acceleration is 9.8 and downwards is positive, so this would be positive. Change in time is, sorry, not 3 seconds, 1.3 seconds squared. We use our calculator, 2 with a negative times 1.3 plus a half times 9.8 times 1.3 squared. That gives me 588 meters. The 881 will make it 88 if I round to two decimal places, which is common. Okay, meters per, sorry, just meters since it is displacement. So that is how high the elevator was off of the ground when it dropped the box. 5.88